Do you want to control your bathroom, kitchen and swimming pool area lights without even touching it? If your answer is yes, then watch this video to the very end to master the touchless load control system. Let me show you a preview of what we are going to make today before we start working on this project. Enjoy. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. Hi guys, my name is Fahad and welcome to Electronic Clinic. If this is your first time here and you want to learn Arduino programming, PLC Ladder Logic programming, SCADA application designing, SOLIDWORKS, Visual Basic application designing and programming, from microcontrollers to send and receive data, Android, security systems, robotics, image processing and much more, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so that you never miss anything. Welcome back and let's start building the contactless switch using infrared sensor. The components we'll be needing for this project are So here is the basic circuit diagram which is designed and gets off Eagle 6.3.0 professional. It can be easily downloaded from the internet. Just write Eagle 6.3 in Google and it will find it for you and you can download the free version. This is the infrared sensor and in this project we are using only three pins which are the VCC which will be connected with the 5 volts of the Arduino and the ground of the infrared sensor will be connected with the ground of the Arduino and the digital output pin of the infrared sensor will be connected with pin 4 of the Arduino you know this is the driver circuit for controlling the relay and this is connected with pin number 13 if you have a ready-made relay module then there is no need for building this part but if you want to make your own relay circuit then this is how you can make your own relay module for one relay if you want to use two three or four five relays so the same components will be used in the same way so this is a relay coil on one side we have applied 12 volt and on the other side of the relay is connected with the collector of the 2 into 2 2 transistor and the emitter side is connected with the ground so when we give a 5 volt signal on the base of the 2 in 2 to 2 to transistor it will turn on and the ground will short with this point and 12 volt is coming from here so the relay will on and this contact will connect with this one with a normally open so as a result the live is connected here it will come like this and the neutral is directly connected with the light so that light will turn on and when we turn off it will go back to its previous position and the light will turn off so this is a very basic circuit diagram which is quite easy you can make yourself integer relay is equal to 13 relay is connected with pin 13 of the Arduino and this relay will be used to control the bulb integer sensor is equal to 4 well this is an infrared sensor and this is connected with pin 4 or the Arduino integer flag is equal to zero we'll, we will need two flags the one is integer flag is equal to zero and integer s flag is equal to zero the flag zero this is a flag and it is changed from zero to one and from one to zero each time sensor is activated and the s flag sensor flag which is used to monitor the state of the sensor when there is nothing in front of it so later on i will tell you what's the advantage of this flag now, as I have told you uh, in my previous tutorials, that uh, every Arduino program has at least two functions. The one is the wide setup, and the other one is the wide loop. The wide setup function executes only one time, and the wide loop is executed infinite times. So, the wide setup pin mode relay output as the relay will be used for controlling the light so light bulb so it is an output device and by default we keep the relay in off state pin mode sensor will sensor as an input device so that's why we 
declare this as an input device and digital write sensor is high wide loop now if digital read sensor is equal to is equal to now the infrared type the infrared sensor that i'm using will give you low signal when there is something in front of the uh, of the sensor and it will give you a high signal when there is nothing in front of the sensor so this line means that digital read sensor is equal to equal to it means that check if there is something in front of the sensor and flag is equal to zero which is or we have already set to zero and s flag is equal to is equal to zero s flag is equal to is equal to zero means that check if there is nothing in front of the sensor so which is true when there is nothing in front of the sensor the s flag is equal to zero so this is satisfied and this condition is also satisfied because it's already zero and as there is something in front of the sensor so these all conditions this condition is satisfied then what it will do suppose my hand is in front of the sensor uh, in front of the sensor so flag is equal to one i will change the state i will change it from zero to one digital write relay high and turn on the light and s flag is equal to one so i have i will change its state and also this one so the light will on now the time when i remove my hand as soon as i remove my hand what it will do it will make the s flag equal to zero again it will make s flag is equal to zero but this will not change it will remain flag is equal to one it will remain one so the next time when I uh, put my hand in front of the uh, of the sensor, so this time it will not execute these instruction because the flag is already set to one. So this time it will uh, execute these instructions. Why? Because it will detect that is there anything in front of the sensor? Yes, there is uh, something in front of the sensor. And if uh, the flag is equal to is equal to one, yes, it was previously made one and the s flag is equal to is equal to yes because it was already changed to zero so this time these instructions will be executed and when these instructions are executed the flag is or again make to zero uh, is, is zero and the s flag is already uh, is also uh, set to one and the light is uh, off so when i remove my hand then this instruction will be executed s flag is equal to zero and then a very small delay and then again when I uh, put my hand in front of the sensor so this time again this instruction these instructions will be executed and so on so this is a very basic program we are not using any uh, previous states or current states it's just a simple program and uh, these instructions can be used like a toggle key for example there is one sensor and that one sensor you are using for turning on and turning off like the way you use one button to turn on and turn off it's just like that push to on and push to off the same concept used over here but in a simple way because there are no complex uh, programming like using the MLIS functions making delays and the previous state and the current state so it's just a very simple program i've already checked this one and it, it's just a flawless it has no errors no as we have covered the programming now we will start the the connections and testing so let's start that so these are the components that we will be using in this project arduino uno and an infrared sensor it has three we are right now we are using three terminals the now this one is the five volt and the the gray one is the ground and the white wire is the output and <clears throat> this is the relay module it has three relays but right now we are using only this one so as you can see that the light bulb is connected with this one the relay module ground is connected with the arduino and uh, so now let's upload the program now let's compile the program first and and as you can see right now Arduino Uno is not connected okay there are no errors now first let me connect the Arduino now it's connected let's check that yes it's connected in a COM9 and let's upload the program
Okay, now let's start checking. So now, after the program has been uploaded, now let's start checking. Okay, now the Arduino is on and also the relay module. And there is a 100 watt bulb. So this is a contactless switch. And it doesn't matter for, for how long I keep my hand in front of the sensor. There is no abnormal operation. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching.